Navratilova missed Novotna lead by two <laughs> games to love, second set. It's pretty energetic when you haven't played much, especially with a little nervous tension being on the centre court and all those lobs that are being <laughs> sent up all the time and Martina's still being stage manager out there. Have to have that net tape straight. Great lobs. Oh. <laughs> Great reactions to Martina. Love 15. That was another really good point, actually. Change direction like that is uh, not that easy. I don't know whether the pair up the other end are having a little chat because they also are a little tired or they're just trying to find a solution. Will it work, whatever they decided 15. to do? Martinez, who had some success at the Olympics in doubles. She was a silver, medal a couple, silver medalist a couple of times and a bronze medalist. Yeah. 30-15. And she did it without having the most powerful serve yeah, in the world. Yeah, right. I mean... That one was 91, that was uh, quite Big. quick. But she's got that low toss, but it's uh, an amazing serve. When it goes in. There it's you. It always happens. I think, to be fair, we weren't bigging it up. But it's an awkward serve, isn't it? It's just got so much spin. I mean. Yeah. Uh, and also, coming, being so low, like being a sidewinder or, almost, is, is actually hard to read. Yes. She can do that in her sleep. 30, 40. Yet, uh, I mean, that was an awfully good return. And what about that pickup there from Jana? And then ended by a really fancy shot from Martina. <laughs> Juice. Actually hitting the ball very well, everybody. I mean, I know it's a little slower than the tennis we've been watching most of the tournament, but they're hitting it in the middle and they know what they're trying to do and doing it. Advantage, Miss Martinez. Once again, the ball down the middle of the court is such a useful shot in doubles.
Oh, two. Good. Advantage, Miss Navratilova. I mean, what, what a great shot this lob volley is. I've lost track of how many juices have been. Seems Martina hasn't been able to convert any of them. Advantage, Miss Navratilova. Seeing a lot of her shoelaces at the moment, Martinez, after her serve. be looking for a sudden death point in a minute I think yeah Martinez being exceptionally hard yeah so many break points fourth deuce advantage Miss Navratilova Novotna lead by three games to love, second set, and by one set to love. I think there might have been a sense of relief for Martinez that that game finally came to an end. And I know the feeling. I mean, she tried so hard, and it just never seemed to end. I mean, the, the other team seemed to choke a little bit on every break point. Still times the ball just so, mm. so much better than than the other three women out there, doesn't it? It's not being disrespectful to them, but you can just see why she won so many times, Martina. It's, even here, you can just see how clean it is. Well, she also is one step ahead of everybody. I mean, the only other doubles player who I think is uh, who has always been as good as that was Billie Jean, and time she would know exactly what to do with the. Either chip returns off the forehand, nobody else had that shot. And then she would be so good at, uh, particularly if she was, say, in the left court at the net and, and you were expecting her to volley slightly inside out and she'd go cross court. She was so, I guess, I guess Martina's maybe even a little bit more talented, but uh, they were both great doubles players. Fifteen love. Stage. I mean, let's face it, although she's as fit as she is, she's 
not sprinting across the net. That was fantastic anticipation. Yeah. Beautiful overhead. She just knows how to fake just that little bit. That is such a trick at the net when you look, make it look like you're going one way and you stay or you go the other way. Game, Ms. Nabratilova, Ms. Nabotna. Three rolls, please. And a double scored as well. Ms. Nabratilova, Ms. Nabotna lead by four games to love second set. Won five Grand Slam doubles titles in the course of her career. A couple of Australians, three US Opens. I mean, she's 12 years younger, though. Like in juniors, age difference makes a big difference, and when you get it to the seed, it makes a huge difference. 15 love. Some pretty good teams out here this year. Got Tracy Austin, Kathy Rinaldi. Oh, what a great shot! Fifteen oh. And look at the look at the timing on that. She actually had to shift her body weight slightly backwards, but her racket went through the ball. It felt very sweet. But the easiest 30, shot 50. she's had. <laughs> I bet you Helena Sokova and Andrea Temesvari is a pretty good team too. Forty, fifteen. Very good serve. Martinez, Miss Tozier. <laughs> Miss Nabratilova, Miss Nabotna lead by four games to one second set and by one set to love. Bit of pride restored then for uh, Tozier and uh, Martinez after dropping uh, six games in a row. Not that many people have left. I mean, they like to have every last minute at Wimbledon that they can. Been really There's a rumor that you'll be on after this for the last 45 minutes of the day. That's why. Playing what? Tiddlywinks or croquet? Uh, they won't let me on the court. They'll they'll close this court down. Get it ready for for the men's quarters tomorrow. I think uh, Federer plays first, followed by Mr. Murray. Sort of tough when Time. Nadal has to play on court number one, isn't it? I mean, it, 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 I mean, he's number one in the world, and he's getting bumped on the quarterfinal stage to court number one. I, mean, I can't actually remember Sodalink being on the centre court, but he must have. He did. He played Ginepri out here.
15 love. Oh, too bad. 15 all. Just thinking a little bit more about the men's singles. How do you think Lou will do it against Djokovic? Well, I think it's a pretty impressive win for uh, for Novak against Lame as well. I think uh, you know that uh, that opened a lot of people's eyes. There was a lot of few questions about it, the way that he was playing. But uh, you know, once again, he's responded to you know some of the there critics, and he's 15. put in a performance that uh, gets you excited about his chances. And uh, you know, I know he wouldn't have ever doubted himself, but that's certainly um, you know, it's it's a good win and sets him up nicely for that match. A sort of unexpected. Bonus, if you like, and take nothing away from Lou, but uh, you know, how, yeah. how's he going to handle that quarter final? It's got to put Djokovic's hot favourite. Forty fifteen. Awkward serve into her body on the forehand, but not her best forehand right then. Oh, excellent serve. Game, Ms. Navratilova, Ms. Navratilova. It's pretty good cracking their serve at 95 miles an hour. Ms. Navratilova, Ms. Navratilova lead by five games to one, second set. Now she looked... Uh... Fantastic out here, no question. Best player on the court by some distance. Fifteen low. Martinez, who was a, a runner-up at uh, a couple of the Grand Slam events as well on the singles, Australia and uh, the French Open. Sort of eclipse, really, by uh, Alancia Sanchez Vicario. Yeah, which, as I always said, Conchita was the one with all the talent, but it was Arancha who wanted to work hard and uh, never gave up. What a super return and a move in and a volley on the 15. run forward. Fifteen thirty. Haven't been many poor shots like that. They're not as easy as uh, they look. Remember that, Virginia, when you're commentating on me tomorrow. You'll have to give a big grin, but maybe they might let me off that one. You mean you might go and send to court? No. Oh, I think she 15, missed that. 40. So match points. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with Navratilova and Navratna. in the second set, but uh, the opening set had plenty to enjoy, and once again a chance for the many fans out here on centre court to witness another fine performance by Martina Navratilova. Martina obviously enjoyed playing in the centre court with, the, uh, you know, the way she touched the ground. Uh, she is the holder of this event. She won it with uh, Helena Superba last year, so she's got somebody who's probably even marginally better to play with this year. And I'm sure they enjoyed their uh, time out here as well. It wasn't uh, scheduled to be on centre court, but uh, a nice uh, memory for Torsier and uh, Martinez. Always a thrill, no matter how old you are, no matter how many times you've played on this court to get out there.
well, especially as they all played pretty well and a really receptive audience. Uh, fantastic uh, testament to their reputation. Get a little glimpse of them. Appreciation. A lot of affection from this crowd as well, and you can see what it means to uh, all four ladies, particularly Martina.